Welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be talking about Multipass. Multipass is a lightweight VM manager that can be installed on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS operating systems. And it is designed for developers, students, and IT professionals who want to learn more about the Ubuntu environment or maybe just want a sandboxed environment to be able to use for their development or coding projects. The other or the one very important aspect or reason why I do like Multipass is because it is free and open source and you don't have to pay any extra for it. So if you're a student and you're looking to run an Ubuntu virtual machine real quick for a development project and you don't want to pay for a hypervisor like VMware or maybe Parallels, Multipass is pretty easy, straightforward and deploys virtual machines really quickly. So I'm going to go straight into what we have to do today. I'll show you a quick way to download and install Multipass. It's pretty easy and straightforward. So you're just going to follow the link I have in the description be below and go to the multipass.run web page. You're going to select Mac OS and then you're going to download the multipass for Mac OS. Once you hit the download button, your browser is going to download your multipass.pkg file, which is a setup file for Mac OS X system. It is kind of like the .exe file for Windows. So once that's done downloading, we're going to go to Finder, we'll navigate to Downloads, and we just want to double click and go ahead and follow these instructions to be able to install Multipass. Once we get the setup done, you're just going to go continue and follow through the process. Once that is installed, the next thing you want to do is go onto your launch pad and search for terminal. So once you open up your terminal, the first thing you want to do is be able to check and see some of the available commands that come with multipass. For you to do that, you're going to type in the command multipass help. So multipass help is basically going to show you some available commands with multipass and tell you on the right side, like we see on here, what you can use them for. For this tutorial, we're going to use the delete command, which explains itself. We're going to use the find command to be able to display available images. We use the launch command to create and start an Ubuntu instance. We're also going to use the purge command to completely delete an instance from our system permanently. You can also use the restart command to restart your Ubuntu virtual machine. And also we will use the start and stop command. So now that we've seen a quick overview, I'm going to clear our command line interface and we want to be able to create our first virtual machine using multipass. So to start, I will issue the command multipass find. So the find command is basically going to show you the available images that we have within our multipass software. We see here that we have Ubuntu 18.04 and version 20.04. We're going to be creating a new virtual machine today with the image 20.04 for Ubuntu. In order for us to create our virtual machine, we'll type in the next command multipass launch for creating a new virtual machine and then we'll enter the image we want to use so 20.04 and we'll give our new virtual machine a name using the name command and we'll name this machine dev01 and we'll hit enter okay dev01 already exists because i have created dev01 as one of my test machines that I have installed within my multipass. So I'm just going to go back to that command and I will change that to dev02. Once we issue the command 
to launch and create our first virtual machine, Dev02. We can see here that Multipass is going to go ahead and create and start the virtual machine for us. In order for us to be able to see the virtual machines that we have available within our Multipass, we need to use a command called the list command. So to do that, we're going to say Multipass list. And we can see on here that we have our dev02 created and its state says that running and we have the IP address of our dev02. Now we have dev02 created and it's running. For us to be able to access this dev02 using the shell, we're going to have to issue the next command multipass shell dev02 and once we do that we are inside of our dev02 virtual machine running Ubuntu and we can go ahead now and start creating our commands or creating our scripts and our programs that we want to use with this Ubuntu virtual machine. If I quickly type the hostname command we can see that we are inside of our virtual machine called dev02. If I want to know the IP address, I can issue the command IPA and we can see the IP address for our dev02 virtual machine. We can also even update our Ubuntu virtual machine by inputting the command sudo apt update. It does a regular update like it would do with any other Linux operating system. So now that we have our multi-pass virtual machine dev02 installed and configured, we can go ahead and exit the shell by issuing the command exit. Okay, if we go back to multi-pass list, we can once more view our virtual machines that we have created in this command line. For you to be able to stop the running virtual machines or shut them down, you input the command multipass stop dev01 dev02 and that's going to stop our instances. So if you had more instances that you wanted to stop, you can keep adding a space and put in the names. If we go back to multipass list, as we can see on here, all of our instances are currently stopped. If you wanted to start up the instances again, you would do the same thing. You will run the command multipass start dev01 dev02. And then multipass is going to go ahead and start up our instances for us. The next thing we're going to learn in this tutorial is to be able to delete our multipass images or our multipass virtual machines that we just created. In order for you to be able to delete a multipass virtual machine, you have to use the command multipass delete followed by the virtual machine names. So I'm going to issue the command multipass multipass delete we'll do dev01 and dev02. And once we issue that command, multipass should have deleted our virtual machines. So if we go back to multipass list, we see on here that we have our dev01 and dev02 and the state is deleted. Note that they're deleted, but they're not completely removed from our multipass virtual machine manager. In order for this two virtual machines to be completely removed from our system, we need to use the command multipass purge. So once I type that in multipass purge, the purge command basically removes the deleted instances off from our virtual machine manager. So if we issue the multipass list command again, we can see here that the dev01 and dev02 virtual machines have been successfully deleted. At this point, that brings us to the end of our tutorial for installing and using Multipass on Mac OS. 
If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.